Okay, so here's my title screen. I think that's looking pretty good. Like I say, nice punchy title, nice positioning. What I want to do very quickly is have a little look and see what happens when I start to change um, the size of my browser window. So you can see if I start to change it, it doesn't move. So my text isn't flying about the place, but it's getting cut off. I want to change the size. Okay, so this is because of the responsiveness. So we ticked that little box that said enable responsive settings when we opened our Clint project. Um, what we need to do now is start to think about how these elements respond to responsive windows. So let's go back to Clint and we'll have a look at that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my title up here and our responsive settings are over in the inspector on the right hand side. So under our general tab, we have position and size and we have responsive settings down here. So if I click on this little plus, you can see under responsive settings, we've got fixed size and proportional size. So a fixed size element won't change in size, whatever size the window. So it'll be the same size on a large uh, browser window on your desktop. It'll be the same size on a small um, browser window on your tablet or mobile phone. Um, hence the name fixed size, it doesn't change. Proportional size will change when you change the window. So as your window gets bigger, your element will get bigger with it. As your window gets smaller, your element will get smaller with it. So I wanna go for a fixed size um, piece of text here. But at the moment, we saw when I uh, previewed it in the browser, it was getting cut off and I made my browser smaller. That's because of this kind of diagram um, underneath these settings. And basically what this diagram shows is it shows the four sides of your screen. So we've got top, right, bottom, left. And what you can do with your elements, what you have to think about with kind of every element you put on your screen is where you want it to be positioned in terms of the screen space. So at the moment, our Bin Appetit title is locked 39 pixels from the left hand side and 481 pixels from the right, 27 pixels from the top. Okay, so if you're locking elements down to sides of the screen, I never advise locking it down to three sides. That's where you get that problem when I just resized my window a minute ago and started to get cut off because it was always trying to stay 481 pixels from the right hand side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to untick my right hand lock here. And because my element is locked in the top left hand corner, is positioned, sorry, in the top right hand corner of my screen, I'm going to lock it to the top and to the left. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock it 40 pixels from the left. I like to try to keep things exact just for kind of my sanity when I'm um, working with figures. And I'm also, so to match that, I'm also gonna make it 40 pixels from the top. Should see it jumps down a little bit. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're also gonna select my tagline, my second piece of text here. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing. We're gonna make sure it's got a fixed size, responsive setting. I'm gonna untick that right hand lock and I'm gonna lock it 40 pixels from the left-hand side. But obviously this time I don't wanna lock it 40 pixels from the top as well, because then it would sit um, on top of the Bin Appetit title. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change that to, and this is a little bit of trial and error here, I'm gonna change it to 90. Okay, it's probably a little bit close, so let's try 94. Okay, that looks good to me. Okay, so let's, let's save that. So let's save our project and let's run, let's run our sequence from the start to see how it looks. Okay, so currently it looks kind of the same as it did before, but now if I start to change my browser window in size, you can see it doesn't get cut off now. So even if we've got a small browser, really wide browser, wherever we have, our text still stays nicely positioned in that top right hand corner. And if I go back to Clint and I just, let's just add another piece of text just so you can see. Let's call this example text. I'm going to delete this in a minute. It's just so you can see how the proportional size works. So if I put proportional size here, and again, I'm going to lock that just to the top and the left. I don't really care what these settings are at the moment. This is just an example. Again, just so you can see, and we save and run. Now see what happens when I change the size of my window. So 
you can see that text gets smaller okay, and bigger. That's proportional size. Our elements are fixed. So we're just going to be working with fixed for now. We'll work with some more proportional size elements in a different tutorial. Okay, so let me go back to Clint. I'm going to delete this piece of text. So the best thing to do to delete text, you can do a right click on it, but I like to actually go and delete the whole layer. Otherwise you're left with a blank layer at the bottom. So please confirm the deletion of the track and its content. Confirm. 